All right. Um, thank you, everybody, for coming tonight. Uh, I got started on this about six months ago. Uh, you know, my conscience was guilty because I never do any spindle work. And every time I look at John Horn, you know, I feel guilty about not doing any. So I tried to figure out some things that I could do with spindle work. And most of them didn't really have a whole lot of interest. I mean, there's only so many crochet needles, knitting needles that you can make. The needles taking a hit. And, uh, and so uh, I had been... Uh, I had been intrigued by a guy up in Nova Scotia who turns uh, spiral uh, art pieces. Now, granted, his are 20 feet long, uh, so, but uh, the idea intrigued me, and so I started looking around, okay, what can I do? And so I, I've really started with, this is really a cone that's hollowed out and it's in segments. And then as I cut it on a bias, then as I rotate them, as I glue them back together, I get the spiral pattern. And they're hollow. Uh, and so, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll cut, I use three inch segments because anybody can find, you know, a limb that's too small to do anything else with, which is another reason I like, you know, because you know you see some nice wood and it's not big enough to to really do anything. But you can start off with a, you know, a two-inch, three-inch diameter piece, and and uh, I make them three inches long. Uh, that's a convenient size to hollow. It's not too deep. Uh, and then uh, as I cut them into segments, they, they easily cut into three segments each uh, uh, when, I, when I get through with it. Um, if you've really got some smaller stuff, uh, you can do the same thing. Uh, this is a piece of uh, holly. Uh, I had a holly tree that I had to trim back and I thought, I really don't want to throw all that stuff away, but what do you use it for? Uh, you know, I don't want to slab it up for inlays. Uh, and so, you know, I just put it on a glue block. It's, it's turned a small tenon on there. And then you can do the same thing with this as you can the larger ones. You just end up with a smaller cone uh, when, when you're through. <clears throat> so really what I do is, is like I said, I, uh, I take... Uh, I take the, the small blocks, cut them up into three inch segments. Uh, I find a center. Uh, I put a reference line on there just so that I can uh, uh, turn my, my tenon to the right, uh, right diameter. And then I turn around and put them on the lathe. tighten them up, and then rough it out. To get started. Now, I don't have a gouge as big as Peter's, uh, but I'll make do. This happens to be uh, some elm that uh, I trimmed up some trees last year, cut them up into four foot sections, and uh, had turned around and put my anchor seal on the end and finally got around to finding something to do with them. A 
and I turn my tenon on the end. Since I'm doing it on a repetitive basis, Sorby tool that uh, you, you've got a parting tool that fits in there and you can adjust the dimension here and so if you're going to cut a bunch of, of tenons all of the same size or you want to you know just to uh, start off so like all my tenons on all these are, are going to start off at that size and then that way it's, it's consistent so that when I go back and forth between the chucks it works out pretty nice. And then of course my my uh, chucks are a dovetail chuck. This is a Nova with an extended jaws. Uh, I like this jaw set to do this stuff because it gives, moves it out away from the headstock. Uh, it's easy to work with. Now, we begin to, we'll cut our taper and I happen to know that it's about a five degree taper down the cone. You know, you take the diameter, the length, and you can calculate what the, what the taper angle is. But I know from doing a number of these that it's, it's going to be about five degrees. And I just use this angle gauge so that I can double check. Doesn't have to be exact, but just got to be close. And then you just begin to do your uh, taper, your cone. Then I'll check. Let me taper just a little bit more. Uh, yeah, basically, the, given the size of the uh, the the uh, limb that I've got, then again I'll calculate when I start. Uh, if I've got bigger stuff, you know, it'll change. Or if I want them longer and thinner, it'll change. <laughs> 